heard this from a guy named Danny Silk, The Five Love Languages, a book by Gary Chapman. I'm going to go through them really quickly, and then we can talk about them one by one. So we've got one, gifts. We've got two, touch. Three, acts of service. Four, quality time. Five, words of affirmation. All right, let's start with the gifts really quickly. They're not superficial. It's not actually the material item. It's that somebody was thinking about you when you weren't even there, and they know you enough to get a gift that's perfect for you. This makes them feel the sensation of love. Because when you forget that gift on that important day for that gift love language person, that is the same as saying, you don't matter to me. I don't love you. You don't mean that. You may be showing love in a different language. The second one, touch. You may feel love through touch. Let's talk about touch because that's actually my main love language. So for me, I'm, I'm counting the seconds, counting the milliseconds till the next time I just brush into my wife. <laughs> you know, but she doesn't know this about me really. She just sees me get frustrated or sees me be distant and kind of grumbling because I don't want to tell her. I don't want to tell her that that she should hug me because what if she says no or or she should know that that's what I like. No, how would she know? I'm not telling her. <laughs> so what you feel like you need from someone else is something you're withholding from yourself. So I was withholding what I needed, and that was hugs, and I was withholding it from myself by not telling my wife that they were extremely important to me and not doing it in the right way. I waited until I got angry and frustrated and I blew up. So my wife's love language is acts of service. When I do something for her that helped her out because she has all these tasks that need to get done for her to feel free, knowing that this is her love language, it's so useful to me because if I want to make her happy, if I want to brighten her day, I know exactly how to do it. I can do it efficiently and fast. <laughs> I don't need to waste any time. I don't, really, I don't need to waste time trying to hug her to death to make her feel better because that's what I was doing before. When something was wrong, I'm like, here, here's what I like. Here's more hugs. <laughs> no, she, she doesn't want that. She's like, I've got too many things I got to do right now. I didn't understand why when she came home, the first thing was telling me all the things that were forgotten. So I'm starting to get down feeling criticized when I realized that's her love language. I wasn't getting hurt anymore because I realized how important it was to her. So also another love language that I have is words of affirmation. I need her to tell me that I did a good job in order to feel love. So I also feel love through words of affirmation. But if I'm not getting the tasks done correctly, if I'm not valuing her need to have these uh, th certain things done so that she can feel free, and so she can relax, then I'm not going to be getting words of affirmation that I get that I did a good job from her. The last one is quality time. Oh my gosh, I like this one as well. Quality time. There's no distractions. If that person that isn't spending time with you, if they don't feel love through quality time, then they won't know to show you love that way. They might be showing you love in a different way, but you might not be receiving it. It's a difference in love languages. Once you know the love language of your friend or your family or your wife or your husband or your partner, oh wow, this becomes incredibly useful to brighten that person's day.